Hello my beauties! Welcome again to my channel. Today I am going to show you how, to, how I did these curls. It's super simple, super easy and fast, I promise. You don't even have like to divide in layers or anything. And um, so if you have like to go out and you need to save some time, this is great. Or like for every day if you want to as well. So I already did this part just to show you like the end result. In case you already don't like it, you don't have to watch the rest of the video. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the result and I left this part. I already, um, I washed my hair, dry it and I passed a uh, flat iron a little bit just to make it a little bit straight. And I'm gonna use my flat iron as well. And it's super simple. Just take a horizontal, not too thick part, like so. Just make sure it's not super thick because then it won't curl properly. So try to, if you're in a rush, don't do it like super thin, but the thinner, the curlier, the more fine curls that you have. So just grab a whole horizontal and then start wrapping around your flat iron. Making sure that everything is wrapped around until the ends and then you just pull and this pretty curse. So as you see, I grab like a really small section and it's like very defined curls. I'm gonna grab a little bit bigger section just to show you guys what will happen if you're in a rush and you just wanna grab bigger sections. Okay, I think it's almost the same, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. This is four. Your knees. Okay, so yeah, that's a little bit bigger. Sometimes I do this when I'm in a rush, or more like bigger, thicker, right? Again, just wrap around all my hair. When you have long hair, it's a little bit complicated. Just keep pulling your ends. This, like, this couldn't wrap around, so I'm just gonna do it by itself. So you guys can see, like, just keep wrapping and wrapping and pulling until the end, and that's it. And this is the kind of curl that I was sucking before. It's a bigger section, so it's more like a bigger curl. That's okay. And just keep going horizontal ways. You don't have to do, like, a lot of parting. Um, sometimes I use the comb to part, sometimes I just use my fingers. Like when I'm already like doing it, it's more easy for me just keep going with my fingers or faster. So see see what I'm doing? Since this is really long and I have layers, I just have to keep pulling my hair. So this was this really thick section and as I, you can see it's still like curl, just not as defined as this one, but still like, and I always curl away from my face, so that way like my layers and everything falls down around like around my face and it's more like an elegant look. And also like if you have a balayage or like a lot of highlights here, you want to do it away with your face so they can show um, in your style. So just keep, and it's just practice, just keep pulling and wrapping around your hair horizontal ways until you get right to the middle of your head 
and then you just will do the same with this. Wait. And it just matters how you actually like it, like if you really want the fine curls, if you don't want it to be perfect. Um, sometimes I just like keep going and I don't even like actually care if I'm grabbing like too thick or too thin if I'm in a rush, but if you really want to do it, you can also use a comb and really part your waist. The, um, the cool thing about hair is that actually there's like not perfect way for everyone. It, it accommodates your style and your and whatever you like and how do you like your hair. So like I'm telling you this technique is not necessarily you have to follow through exactly a step by step. It's just like a really easy and fast technique that I use to curl my hair whenever I'm in a rush but like I said if you would like to actually invest a little bit more time into making a little bit thinner to have more defined curls or if you just want like bigger sections just try not to do a lot of really thick sections because then the heat it won't go through all the hair and you will end up like with some curls and some not curled as so like you can see this this was it this was it so now uh, what I will, will be doing next is doing the next part but I already did so that's it and sometimes I use hairspray if like I'm going out or something and I want them to last Right now I'm just staying at home, so I'm saving <laughs> I'm saving the hairspray <laughs> for another time. Uh, you can also use like oil if your hair tends to frizz a little bit, which mine does. Again, I'm not gonna use it because I'm just staying at home. Um, and then you just go with a brush. Um, I'm using this brush. You don't necessarily need to use a brush like this, but Try to make sure that it's not like a really tight brush, you know, like like these things are really too close to each other, more like an over one, if that makes sense. And just go through it. And And there you have it. So I do have like a little bit of layers here. So what I do at the end is just take like the little layers and try to curl it like this so they can actually pull this way instead of actually having a curl. So right just um twist it on the end, just at the end. So my shortest layer is actually full like around my face. And there is I told you it was fast and simple. Boop. This is perfect. perfect. For the the people who has like balayage or highlights, because uh, they really show on the style. And and you can see these parts that I did thinner layers and are more like curlish than these ones. So it always depends on your style and what do you want to achieve. But if you do like bigger ones, you still have like big curls, which looks nice, especially when you have like long hair. And then you just shake it a little, shake it a little. And you're ready to go. Okay, I hope that you like this one. It's a little teeny tiny 
tutorial I'm doing another tutorial next to this uh, not necessarily I'm posting both at the same time but yeah just wanted to like I was curling my hair and I was like yeah I should I should show how I do this so I was right in the middle I was like okay I'm gonna leave the other middle to show you guys how I do it let me know if you like my technique and let me know if you have another technique that you like better um, thank you very much for watching I appreciate you and um, have a really good day I love you